हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर नागेश धाटगे आई एम कंसल्टेंट इन रेस्पिरेटरी मेडिसिन एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल बानेर पुणे अ गुड क्वालिटी क्वाइट स्लीप ऑफ सफिशेंट ड्यूरेशन इज एज इम्पॉर्टेंट एज एक्सरसाइज एंड बैलेंस डाइट इन हैविंग अ हेल्दी लाइफ बट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल डू नॉट गिव दैट मच ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंस टू स्लीप as we all know that poor sleep causes fatigue loss of concentration and sleepiness during the day because sleep influences lot many organs in our body for example it uh, influences heart our circulatory system our functioning higher functioning of our brain hormonal secretions and to some extent immunity also so it is very important that we have a good quality sleep in the night during our sleep important physiological changes occur in our body for example our breathing reduces the oxygen drops a little bit there is a small rise in carbon dioxide and our body temperature also reduces also it influences our hormonal secretions and to some extent immunity of our body and these all physiological changes are very much required for working normally during the day so how do we get good quality sleep what are the tips to get good quality sleep in the night the first and the foremost is going to bed at the same time of the day every day and getting up in the morning at the same time so if you can maintain this time schedule every day then our brain likes it and we maintain a healthy sleep wake cycle the next thing is that the bedroom should be cool quiet and dark because too much of light stimulates our brain and darkness induces sleep so it's very important to have a dark bedroom you should also avoid watching tv and attending to your phone because those light emitting from the screens stimulate our brain and will interfere in our sleep wake cycle schedule the next thing is many people have the habit of drinking tea or coffee after dinner this is not good for sleep because caffeine stimulates our brain so it will again interfere in your sleep wake cycle so it is not a good idea to have a tea and coffee immediately after dinner preferably for, uh, at least 6 hours before the sleep you should not drink uh, any tea or coffee and the same is with the alcohol because although alcohol can induce sleep it actually distorts your sleep architecture in the same way nicotine coming from the smoking which is a stimulant will interfere in your uh, sleep and it will uh, promote wakefulness so you should not also smoke uh, in the evening uh, to get a good quality uh, sound sleep in the night uh, other things that we can do is uh, most of the people use their bed for other activities they should be discouraged our bed is only for the sleeping and you should not use it for working at all and if these simple tips are followed uh, the chances that you'll get a good sound sleep are very high and this will be important contributions in your healthy well being and the last important thing exercise is a stimulant exercising just before sleeping is not a good idea so you should finish whatever evening exercises that you plan to do 2 to 4 hours before sleeping time so exercise will promote uh, good sleep and will also not interfere in your sleep wake sleep wake cycle thank you